Starting off with my pasta sauce, I'm going to be using an onion, some fresh garlic cloves, some heirloom tomatoes. I typically like different colors. They didn't have the yellow heirloom tomatoes, so I just have like the red and purple green color. And then some vine tomatoes, and I love the flavor that the vine gives, so I always make sure to keep the tomatoes on the vine. And then for seasoning, I have a pasta seasoning and a apple with salt and I'm gonna be sauteing with avocado oil. So I already started sauteing my onions and my garlic, and then I'm gonna add in my tomatoes. I like the onion and garlic to get a nice brown translucent um, consistency, and then I like to add my tomatoes in. The tomatoes provide a lot of liquid, so the garlic and the onion does not burn. Honestly, this can happen much faster because I do put the tomato sauce in my Ninja Blender, um, but I do like to let it simmer and let all of the tomato juices um, kind of take its time. So I like for it to simmer at least like 30, to, 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Once I make the sauce, all of the recipes in the meals that I make in the later part of the video are super quick and easy because the sauce is already done. It's homemade, it's fresh, uh, love and intention was put into it and I know exactly what ingredients are in it. I think the biggest thing that I've been learning as a mom is I don't necessarily have the ability to just do things when I want. Um, my baby definitely has put me on a schedule and I'm 100% in love with the idea and accountability that that, ha that has brought into my life. Um, so uh, making a lot of these sauces um, once or even twice a week and then just using them and repurposing them, um, making sure that they're packed with breastfeeding ingredients that are great for my milk production and just allowing me to have quick meals that are high quality during the week is the priority for me. So I'm gonna take the tomato sauce and I actually just put it in my Ninja Blender and then I blend it and it comes out with a nice smooth consistency. Depending on how I'm feeling, I either leave tomato chunks and onion chunks and garlic chunks in the pasta sauce so that I have different textures, um, but it honestly just depends. I like to leave the chunks in this case because I'm gonna repurpose the sauce in two different, th two different ways throughout the week. But as you can see, this is the smoother consistency and I'm just adding it to the um, pan so that I can add in my pasta. Because the tomatoes do hold a lot of water content, I personally like to cook my pasta in the pasta sauce. I just feel like it cooks better. I feel like the pasta tastes better. And I feel like it just provides the thickness and the creaminess that I personally prefer. So I'm gonna let this combine for about five minutes and then add in my pasta. This pasta stores really well in the fridge and I've liked to repurpose it for different meals throughout the week, like I said, to make it convenient. Yes, this one time cooking the pasta sauce might take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour from preparation to finish. But once I put it in a jar and I can repurpose it for eggplant or even sandwiches and things like that throughout the week, it just makes it easy and effortless to have high quality meals with ingredients I know are in the meal that also benefit me and my baby. next meal is like a pesto chimichurri remix <laughs> so i use spinach basil cilantro lemon garlic onion walnuts and pumpkin seed for this um, i've been inspired by a lot of different things but ultimately basil and chimichurri is kind of like the the leading force in it and these all happen to be really great for my milk production i keep talking about my milk production because obviously it's very important to me um, and as I am having my baby taste foods, I really, it just really has made me um, be more conscious of the foods that I'm eating because obviously he wants to eat and share my food. 
Um, so it's been great to kind of just learn through this experience. These walnuts and pumpkin seeds help give it a different type of flavor and a creamy consistency. So I'm gonna just go ahead and add this into my Ninja Blender. It'd definitely be better texture if I had a food processor, but this is what I'm working with for now. And then from here, I like to add in my basil as well as my spinach. I'm a texture person when I like to eat things. I like here, I like being able to eat a crunch, something softer, something cooked, something hot, something cold. So I like to layer my foods in the Ninja Blender. Here's the cilantro um, so that I have different consistencies. This is a passion fruit um, balsamic vinegar and it is amazing. It definitely has a sweet little punch to it. Um, and it just makes the flavor of this honestly the best. This once again is going to be one of my main sauces that I repurpose throughout the week to make quicker and convenient meals. All in all, this probably takes about 15 minutes to make, 10 minutes to make, um, and it is it is something quick and easy that you can do if you are doing it on a daily basis. And I personally love lemon and lime and citrus and everything, so I add a little bit of citrus to it. All of the sauces in this video are inspired by my Green Chef meals and recipes. One thing that I love about Green Chef is they have so much flavor packed in their easy, quick, convenient meals. The thing about Green Chef is it has all of the ingredients that are pre-packed and pre-measured so that you're not having any type of food waste and they are chef curated recipes so i always feel inspired by the different combinations that they have whenever i'm getting bored or i feel like my food choices are monotonous i like getting a green chef recipe just to spice things up and inspire me to mix different ingredients for different types of meals the recipes include pre-made measured sauces dressings and spices so you can get more flavor in less time and Green Chef also uses a wide variety of high quality clean ingredients like their organic and sustainably sourced produce. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and the dishes are from a different variety of lifestyles like keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean for those who simply want a little more balance. Go to greenchef.us slash findguru10 and use findguru10 and get, get 10 free meals plus free shipping on your first box. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I repurpose the two sauces that I made. Honestly, I just kind of get creative because I like to eat the same things and I feel like the thing that makes it more enjoyable is just switching up the sauces and adding new flavors. I am going to make a flatbread with some portobellos. What makes these portobellos is I like to season them with apple wood salt, but the flavor it gives you, it gives you bacon-like flavor. So if you really um, fry, grill, or dry out your portobellos, it just gives it that bacon-like flavor. And I've said bacon like a thousand times, but when I'm telling you, I was so excited. And all the flavor that this provides, get Go to Whole Foods, get you some applewood salt, and you will thank me later. For this flatbread, I'm gonna be using whole wheat naan, heirloom tomatoes with two different colors, um, some ricotta cheese. This ricotta cheese is from Kite Hill, and it is amazing. Although I try to stay away from processed foods and vegan alternatives, it's honestly something that is just great, and the ingredients um, aren't bad. And then obviously a portobello mushroom and then my basil chimichurri pesto. This stuff is so good, y'all. Honestly, it just, I mean, on a sandwich, on a flatbread, on your fish, on your chicken, the opportunities for repurposing the sauce throughout the week is truly endless. And just taking time and creating something new with a little bit of flavor can really spice up your meals for the week in a quick and easy way and put a very generous amount because I am going to toast this in the oven. And then I add my bacon portobello mushrooms. After you make this a few times, you'll have your own unique way of layering it and doing it, but this is how I'm doing it today. This is. I also wanna know I am repurposing the same heirloom tomatoes from the avocado toast. And I think what I wanna stress in this video more than anything is you can have a limited amount of ingredients and have different types of flavors of food and be satisfied with a small ingredient list. 
Um, I'm now putting on the ricotta cheese and I like to save some because I do like the mix of the hot ricotta cheese as well as cold ricotta cheese. And I'm going to top off and season my tomatoes with applewood salt and then pop it into the oven. One of my favorite food luxuries is definitely truffle salt, truffle fries, truffle everything. I love truffle salt. Um, in my opinion, it's definitely more inexpensive than getting like the black truffle oil or truffle itself. Adding a flavor salt to your sauces is just going to give you all of the restaurant feels and the luxury flavors. Applewood salt and truffle salt is definitely my go-to. I've been on this wave and I'm not sure I'll ever get over it. Um, I am gonna repurpose the basil chimichurri pesto for an avocado toast. Just being able to have a thick piece of bread on avocado toast just makes it 20 times better. And this bread is much more fresh and it's just, it's just amazing. If you have time and you really want to treat yourself, grill your bread with avocado oil on a cast iron grill and you will, you, you just trust me, you will do it and find time to do it. It seems like it might be tedious, but it honestly takes like three minutes and it is life changing. Um, avocado oil on a cast iron, with a little bit of salt, definitely gives me butter vibes. Um, some of you guys are probably like, you can't replace butter, but no, it definitely gives me the sense of the crispiness of butter, and it just makes your avocado toast 20 times better. It just elevates your breakfast in the rising. My avocado toast, I will be using fresh, beautiful avocados, my basil pesto, olives, heirloom tomatoes, and truffle salt. So, this basil pesto is honestly the greatest. You guys really should focus on creating different sauces to use throughout the week. If you are somebody who habitually can just eat the same thing over and over, and if you want something that's quick and easy to do in the rising. It's packed with so many fresh ingredients and so much flavor, and it just makes the simple things elevated. So I like to add the basil pesto first, and then add on top the avocado. After the avocado, I then like to add my olives. Um, I like to layer it in a way where when I take a bite of it, it's not gonna fall off. And then the tomatoes kind of protect everything underneath it, so then I top it off with my heirloom tomatoes and season with some truffle salt and some pepper. Usually I would do a little bit of lime, but I didn't do it in this video, but just top it off with whatever you like to top off your avocado toast with, whether that be ponzu, um, umami sauce, um, balsamic vinaigrette, or things of that nature. And there you have the most fresh, flavor-packed avocado toast that's quick and easy to repurpose and switch up the flavor and the rising. Honestly, I wish you guys can taste this. This bread is next level. The avocado grilled on the cast iron just, I mean, if you want luxury breakfast, just grill your bread. It's next level. It's, I had it once and I will not go back. Cast iron, it just elevates all of your food. It's amazing.